you can do pay-per-click advertising on Google. And what that means is you're basically gonna create ads and you're gonna pay to display those ads, but you only pay when somebody clicks. Hey, I'm Spencer Powell and welcome back to Builder Funnel TV where remodelers and custom builders come to grow their businesses. Uh, quick reminder, if you're not part of Remodeler Growth Community, uh, check that out over at remodelercommunity.com and join us over there. All right, so let's get into the topic for today, which is pay-per-click advertising. So PPC, you may have, may have heard of that, run across that before. Um, I think there's a little bit of confusion around that, but also I think some people maybe get steered off in the wrong direction when they think of pay-per-click. So I want to talk about kind of what it is, what are the different angles to it, and then where I think most of you should actually be spending most of your time when it comes to pay-per-click. So you can do pay-per-click advertising on Google. And what that means is you're basically going to create ads and you're going to pay to display those ads, but you only pay when somebody clicks. That's the pay-per-click. That's different than uh, like CPM, which is like uh, you're paying for impressions and usually it's like a cost per thousand impressions. And, uh, and we'll talk about that in a second. So you can pay for um, pay-per-click ads on Google or on Facebook or other networks. Um, let's break down why you might participate in Google versus Facebook. So Google is intent-based. When somebody goes to Google, they have something in their head that they're trying to find, right? It doesn't matter if it's uh, a funny photo or they're researching a product or they want to remodel uh, their home. Any of those, like they're going to Google with a very specific purpose. They're trying to find information. So in the case of a interior remodeling company like yourself, you may offer kitchen remodeling services. So somebody that's searching for that is going to type in kitchen remodeling Denver or kitchen design services, Denver, um, or some variation of that. And so with Google ads, Google pay-per-click, you can create ads that are only gonna show up when somebody types in a specific keyword or phrase, and then when they type that in, they click on your ad, that's when you pay. So the big key with Google is that it is intent-based. Somebody is actually trying to find something. And so that is why I prefer that Facebook you're not necessarily uh, hitting that intent-based uh, search or um, advertising in front of a group. You can target an audience, you can target an area, just like you can with Google, you're targeting an area and keywords. On Facebook, you're targeting an area and maybe some demographic information. Um, and then you're basically gonna display ads to those people. And then when they click, you're still gonna pay. But you're trying to hit those people when hopefully timing is right. They didn't actually go to Facebook to seek out a remodeling company. They went to Facebook to browse, to kill time, to procrastinate, whatever it is, chat with their friends, see what's going on. And so when they get hit with an ad, it's just under a different context. Now that's not necessarily good or bad, it just means you need to think through, what is my strategy and why am I advertising here or why am I advertising there? And so on Facebook, you know, it's more of maybe a branding play and you might need to be consistent for longer because you're just trying to hit an audience over and over and over again. And then eventually you're figuring, hey, if I've got the right audience and the right messaging, when the timing is right, somebody will see my ad and click it. And so that's the difference there. So I think most pay-per-click budgets, I'd rather have you start with Google because it's intent-based. And if you're looking for people that are ready to buy now, then oftentimes, that's gonna be a faster path to success because you're saying, hey, I'm only gonna target the keywords that people would be searching when they're actually thinking about doing a project. Now, having said that, there are some people that start up some Facebook campaigns and they have great success right out of the gates. I find that's the minority. So I'm not gonna tell you don't try it, don't test it, but if you have uh, a set budget and it's fairly limited and you need some quick results, I would actually most of the time steer you towards Google because it is intent-based. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to add into this video real quick before we wrap is with Google, I feel like it's very important to just focus on um, the search network. So where, where you're gonna show up in Google search and not their display network. Um, I talked to a lot of companies and I look at their ads and they spent, you know, $15,000 over a period of time 
And then you look at the breakdown and they spent, you know, maybe half on display and half on um, search based. So kitchen design, um, Denver, that would be a search base versus display. It would just be um, kind of one of those banner ads that shows up on any old website. Um, and most of the traffic comes from the display, but almost no conversions. All the conversions are coming from the intent based uh, search based ads. And so I would just recommend that you steer away from display ads, just pay for the search ads, just pay per click, don't pay per impression. Um, and that those alone will give you a, a better chance of success. Um, all right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Uh, again, if you want to join the discussion around topics like this in our community, it's remodelercommunity.com. And with that, we'll see you next time here on Builder Funnel TV.